Amazing job for getting this far. You are now past the halfway stage and well on your way to becoming a fully qualified doctor. How are you getting on with the personal statement? Keep adding and tweaking things until you have it just the way you like it. The next important part is to get a reference statement from one of your teachers to support your application. This will be read by the selectors and is meant to complement your personal statement. Your statement will be written by a referee at your school who knows you. They will talk about your personal attributes, what an outstanding person you are, your contribution to school and your academic achievements, including what sort of grades you're likely to achieve and why they think you're a suitable candidate for medicine. If they are not familiar with this process, give them the guidance that we've given you here on how to write a good reference. Obviously, everything they say has to be true, so make sure that you have demonstrated these attributes to them and pick someone who has seen the very best of you. The referee will also rely on advice from your other teachers. So make sure you have made it well known to them and your other teachers about all your pursuits inside and outside of school. Attend school, be presentable and keen, and also show your interest in medicine by asking your teachers questions where appropriate. The referee also needs to be able to truthfully predict that you are on track for the grades required. Make sure you give them reasons to believe this by working hard Make sure you ask your referee if they feel that they will be the best person to support you. If they think someone else knows you better or could write a better reference for you, then ask that person instead. Your completed application has to be submitted between the 5th of September and 15th of October. Allow plenty of time for your referee to write their statement and for you to check it. You will want to have finished your personal statement before your referee writes their statement because they will use your statement as a guide Make sure you have allowed enough time for them to do this. Give them your final personal statement. Ask them to write something that complements this, but doesn't repeat anything. This is a chance for people to see even more wonderful things about you that they haven't seen before. So don't waste words by repeating things that have already been said. On the other hand, if there's something absolutely incredible that you've achieved and you want your referee to verify, make sure you get them to mention it, but only in a way that highlights other favorable attributes that you didn't mention in your personal statement. Make sure you check your referee's statement. If you don't think that it paints you in a good light, don't be afraid to ask them to change it. If they still won't change it, don't be afraid to ask a new referee to write you one. Have two or three potential referees lined up that you could ask. Start thinking of who you could use as your referee and approach them now so that they have plenty of time to start preparing their reference statement.